morning. I just finished 12 3 30 and I'm exhausted. I burned 250 calories, which is pretty good. I did laundry and everything. I got back from Orlando yesterday, yesterday afternoon. And then I literally just like took everything out of my suitcase, unpacked completely, did all my laundry. I could not like look at my suitcase for another hour. Okay. So I just went ahead and did that. I'm gonna wash my hands. Just finished at the gym. I have Legree in a bit, but um just gonna try to relax a little bit. I got a few things from Erewhon, so I wanted to show you guys. I just got a delivery yesterday because I just like didn't have time and then I had one of my friends came over so we were just like chatting and catching up. I hadn't seen him since the, like the like the Saturday I think before I left or no the Thursday before I left so oh my god I'm so excited to try this let me show you guys. Also I drank a Celsius this morning and I literally I haven't had Celsius in forever I think they expire this month actually. Yeah, I haven't had these in forever, so I don't know if they actually still work for me, but it's chill. I thought I would show you guys some of my favorites from Erewhon because I usually never show you guys like when I purchase from there just because I always get delivery and I don't like normally like going into the stores just because I, I just don't. But let me show you guys what I got. Literally me taking everything out of my fridge right now. So these are like $17.50. They come out to like $20 almost just because um, you have like a bottle deposit for these um, containers that they want back so you get credit for it so it's fine this is their chicken noodle soup which i'll probably have for lunch it's like chicken and vegetables squash carrots cabbage it reminds me of like um like the albóndiga soup or broth that my mom makes for albóndigas and it's so yum and then i also got this vegan butternut squash i love butternut squash it's my favorite i don't particularly care for it to be vegan like i said i'm not vegan or anything but um, I do like it with a little bit of cream and it probably has coconut cream, I'm guessing. Um, no, it doesn't. It's literally just veggies, which is good, I guess. Um, so I got that. And then I got three juices. Well, one juice and then milks. So this is their cold-pressed green juice, which I really like and enjoy. And then I also got this strawberry rose almond milk. No, 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 no. And this one's really good, but my favorite, you guys have to try this. This is the strawberry coconut milk. This is so yum. Like, if you guys like the the milk from Somi Somi, like my mom and I, we get that all the time. But I seriously love these. Like, this is my favorite. It tastes like strawberry milk. It's so fresh, so yum. It's like coconut milk, so it still has that kind of like thick texture from regular milk. And I drink regular milk. I'm sorry. Okay. I drink like 2% milk, but if something comes with regular milk, like I'm not going to substitute it. I really don't care. But this is so good for like an alternative because I don't, I'm not lactose intolerant, but sometimes I just don't like having milk because it's really heavy, but this is really good. It has coconut cream, coconut water. Yeah. I love, this is my favorite milk. Like so, so, so good. You guys have to try this again. That is strawberry coconut milk. Okay. And then I got this vegan keto brownie. If you guys have not tried this, this is so good. I had this when I lived in the Palisades. I remember I got this like a few times and I really liked it. I love their sushi as well, but that was not an option to get it delivered from Uber Eats. I think maybe if I go on Instacart, I'll have more options, but I just got it from Uber Eats. And then, because um, you can get delivery from like wherever. They have a few like sites that you can get delivery from. And then oh, what else did I, oh, and then I just got some eggs, like that's it. And everything came out to like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Which is a little ridiculous, but these are like very fresh and sourced from like really great ingredients. These are all organic. This one's vegan. Like you pay the price for like what you get. And this is a really great brownie. It's 110 calories. I usually split this up in like four pieces. Lord knows I cannot have the whole thing at once. But I think like you definitely pay for like the quality and premium of like the products. And for me, like I'm okay with that because I know what I'm getting. But yeah, I think like Bristol, Gelson's, um, Whole Foods, Erewhon, those are like my favorite grocery stores. And Whole Foods, I don't think it's bad. I think sometimes their produce could use some work. But overall, it's a really great stop and shop just because I live so close to one. And then baby Tuna is back too. She came back from the kitty sitter yesterday. She was being a little cranky, so I had to go get her and put her in her little cat bag. Okay, guys, just getting ready for Legree. I... I was just in the bathroom looking at my lashes and they got a little messed up this morning, but it's okay. I'm gonna fix them later. I did them yesterday because my friend came over and I was like, didn't want to be without lashes. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but like this little chunk right here came off this morning. So let's go to Legree. Where are my AirPods? I don't want to take my big headphones right now. Also, I need to put on a 
jacket because it's raining. This is my favorite Lululemon jacket. You need the gray one. If you get any color, get the gray one first. Avi, I want to get one that's like all long sleeves, so I want to go get a new one, but I need to do Christmas shopping first. Like, I cannot keep buying stuff for myself because I look insane, to be honest. Like, not insane, selfish is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, like so, I need to put my hair down. And then I will go like this. Thanks, guys. I will catch you later. <laughs> I feel so awake right now because I want Eastern time. Goodbye. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for coming. Working so hard. That was fun. It's inspiring. Just got back from Legree, lost a few lashes in the front. I felt them as I was walking back. Why does that happen? Okay, anyway, I'm going to get in the shower. I just wore the same top, but I changed into Lululemon leggings because they're like more flexible for Legree since you do a lot of like different movements and I'm not really sure ever what the moves are gonna be for the day. So I like wearing lines for the bottom and then the top is always just like my shirts from Amazon. I used to wear like sports bras and like align tops. I still wear align tops sometimes or like I used to wear sports bras too, which I don't, I don't know. I don't really like feel comfortable in them. I think because I have like body dysmorphia. So I always feel like I look fat in something, but these shirts are amazing and I love them. They come in a pack of three on Amazon. I have a link down below for you guys. Let me wash my hands. Okay, you guys, let me get in the shower. Well, I feel like my face looks so fresh right now. Yes, I already gave you your snacks and your turkey. You have your turkey right there. You have not eaten it. For what reason? My cat. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower and then get ready for the day. I'll be back with full lashes probably. And um, yeah, we'll catch up then. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm ready for the day. Oh, I'm so shot right now. Um... But um, I'm uploading a video and I made my bone broth already halfway done. It's looking like a great day today. My hands feel super dry, so I'm just going to add some moisturizer. I've been trying to make this a point because I, I look at other people's hands and I don't say anything, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, like just moisturize them. Like it's not that hard. But I love them feeling super soft. Feels great. It's a great day. So happy to be home, might I add. I could probably use some more water in here. It's a lot of broth. But it's like, it's not a lot of broth. That's, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say it's very concentrated. So I'm trying to upload our Thanksgiving vlog. It's like literally almost a month late. So I'm so sorry, you guys. But I really wanted to do Vlogmas, but just vlogging and like trying to help out with kids and stuff. It was just a lot, so I apologize, but I did film some clips. There are just some things that I just couldn't. Also, they aren't my kids, so I don't want to like put them all over the internet, and I need to ask my aunt first if I can put Camila. I think I've posted Camila before, but she is obviously a little bit older. She's five years old, literally the cutest baby ever. But yeah, I just it's a lot of like just family videos that I want to keep and like have for us, and it's just so incredible to like make these new memories oh gorgeous so yeah it was just such a good time really happy that i got to be there for jazz i don't know if i told you guys but i initially wasn't going to go but because i wanted to be there for jazz and because she wanted to get on like bigger rides and stuff and i wanted to be there for her because she is my little sister so i felt it was like my duty to do that but yeah great time i got all my homework done like when i was supposed to obviously because it's eastern time but um really happy with the way things are right now and it's just been a good day so far really happy that i got my workout in my best friend was actually telling me she's like you need to make your goals harder because you always close your rings earlier but the thing is i do all of my workouts like in the morning so it's hard for me to not close those rings earlier because my workouts are in the morning so it's like easier for me to get that done and out of the way because like, i'm not like i don't like working out later i don't like going for walks later it's just not my thing i get freaked out yeah i just oh my gosh it's been like over seven days since i've uploaded i hate doing that going like that long 
Has it loaded? It hasn't loaded yet. Okay. But yeah, so that's the plan. I need to study a little bit today. We have our final on Sunday. Well, it is a finals week, so yay. Super excited. I'm pretty sure I can get everything done though. Like it's very basic knowledge and I love studying business, so oh gorgeous. So yeah, that's like a little update. I'm really happy that I cleaned up yesterday. Baby Tuna also got home yesterday. She was wild with the cat sitter. Like every time she needs to be put in the cat bag to like come home, she hates it. So I had to go and do that. But yeah, so did my makeup, pretty much everyday makeup. Filled in a little bit here and there from my lashes. But I'm loving this lash system that I've got going on. It's the best. So I'm gonna try to edit all day. I have a meeting later tonight. Not tonight, but like late late afternoon. So I'm gonna get that done. Yeah, that's gonna be my day. It's a lot of just, just a lot of work that I have to catch up on, especially for my social media stuff. Got to reply to some emails. This is actually the best time to upload because the, um, like the revenue is so high during the holidays, which is really great, but obviously I've been slacking. So I'm gonna try to push some back-to-back -back videos and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's my day. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, I actually kind of want a snack. I haven't had coffee today, which I wanted to. I had my Celsius this morning. That's why I didn't feel the need to have my coffee, but kind of thinking a shorter one. I literally have Starbucks downstairs, so I should just go get it. I'm just being lazy right now. I want this face wash or wait but why is it on sale though it's the augustina's better uh super rich cream why is it on sale i don't know if this is cheaper than why is it on sale i want it but it's like 250 250 dollars for a cream that's how much my kitty sitter fee was i don't know i'm gonna think about it i'm gonna put it on my christmas list my christmas list is long and i have no one to give it to so i don't even know why i'm making one but it's fun so just like a wish list of things that i've been wanting waste of time but whatever <laughs> so yeah that's my day um oh but yeah anyway i'll talk to you guys later bye hi again so i am just exhausted i tried uploading a video it wouldn't upload something's wrong with the file and then i answered some calls did some emails called my mom made a few phone calls for work and now i'm gonna have dinner it's 4 p.m but it feels so late to me so i'm gonna try to make it an early night i think tomorrow i have to plan some meetings i didn't end up having a meeting later today which is really great because i honestly did not want to leave my house and i feel like i've been doing everything like super early which is good so i hope i get an early morning tomorrow but i figured i also changed it to some shorts these are like my favorite shorts i got them like as a set from target i think but what did i get so for my meal i just got two spicy chicken buns and they look delicious and then I also got a roll. So this is a tempura roll. Can you guys see this? Okay, so this is my tempura roll. And then these are the chicken buns. And they look delicious. Can't wait. I'm watching a documentary on Netflix. But I kind of want to like start on a drama. I just like haven't watched any dramas lately. The TV's not working. Yeah, I'm not really like in the middle of watching anything. I haven't watched Wednesday. I haven't watched like a lot of like popular shows just because I don't like watching what everyone else is watching. I don't know. But I don't know. I'm just like, <gasps> I'm just like not really in the mood to watch TV. But I like watching something while I'm eating. I think I'm just going to continue watching the shows. I'm also watching Gilmore Girls. I think I told you guys that before. So I'll just watch that. And I'm going to eat. Bye. Hi guys. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. I just brush my teeth and wash my face and everything and then put my contacts in because obviously I need to see. I would rather actually be at the gym right now than go to Legree because I don't really like human interaction that early. So I don't think I'm going to book like 6 a.m. classes for this for like Legree anymore because I feel like it's just too early. And then like if I go to the gym then I can like come home, take a shower, do my skincare routine and then like... I just feel like my face looks too puffy in the morning. Like there's a lot of things that goes wrong in the morning. So it's a little bit too early, but I'm gonna have a little energy packet instead of coffee or something. I haven't really been having coffee, but 
I just drink this. This is a ginseng drink. One of my favorites. I need to, I feel like there's something I need to do to it, but I don't know what. I really feel like okay, I need to start saying no to things and I need to say like this is like my problem. Even if I don't completely like not do it. Okay, like for the Disney trip. Let me just tell you guys. I really did not want to go. Like it was just not my thing. Like I didn't want to go. My little sister wanted me to go and I was going to cancel like super last minute. I didn't care if I like lost anything because I would have made it back anyway. I could have like closed the deal and like that was more important to me. But I still went. So initially when like I got the call and my aunt was like, hey Jenny, do you want to come or whatever? I was like, uh, yeah, sure. Like whatever. I was like totally like super excited. And then I thought about it a few days later and I was like, I'm not excited. <laughs> and I need to start saying no because, or say like, I'll think about it and I'll get back to you in like a few days. And I should have done that because that's ideally what I should have done. But I'm not blaming anyone for like, me going or anything like i'm not i'm just saying like that was really dumb decision to do considering i had so many things to do home i had so many meetings that i should have gone to that i ended up rescheduling which was pretty bad but um note to self i know to not do that again and that disney is never a fun experience for me did my nails yesterday super happy they were super they were not super grown out but they were grown out a little bit it's 5 24 I gotta head out soon, but yeah, I took a call a few minutes ago, but I still I need to like follow up with the call after my workout because I have to deal with something, but Super happy to be going to my workout. I feel like I love the green, but sometimes I just like I'm not in the mood for it I still go anyway because of my body and I know that Legree itself is not going to transform my body I need to do like other things like eat healthier. I do generally eat healthy though but like eat healthier, like do more workouts. Like I need to work out harder. My legs are so weak. I, don't, I have so many things wrong with me and I'm just displaying my insecurities on the internet. So let's stop that. Let's go to Legree. I will see you guys there. Um, I'm pretty tired. Gotta get the day going. Feels good though to be up early. Like I don't feel tired because I've been going to bed pretty early. Well, I've been going to bed like at my normal time like 10 9 30 i was in bed by 9 yesterday which i was really happy about anyway i'm going to my class what is that i always get like fuzzy things on my eyelashes anyway <laughs> Okay, hi guys. I literally just walked in the door and Luna went zooming out. I was like, what the freak? But just finished my Legree class and I, I'm i not, I'm never in the mood to do Legree at 6 a.m. in the morning. I would, like I said, I would much rather go to the gym because then I'd get my steps like out of the way. I usually do like 6,000 steps at the gym and then do my Legree class and that's like enough exercise for me. That's like enough, but mm. I have some coffee. I'm thinking of going to the gym, so I'm not gonna like shower or anything right now because I wanna go to the gym, get my steps over with, do 12, 3.30 because I did not obviously do that this morning. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna work on my computer a bit, uh, finalize the video, and then I should be ready to head over there. So yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> a.m. I'm gonna go to the gym but first I need to fill up my water bottle I have a meeting in South Bay at like I think 3 so I have to leave here by like 2 something which is fine I will I was just on my computer earlier because I was trying to finalize the video but 
I don't know if it's finished. 1230 really helped me like lose weight and like fat in my legs. So that's why I'm gonna continue to do it. But I only do it like for 30 minutes and then I'll try to get some steps in. Earlier, I have to go to the jewelry district today because my mom wants me to go check out some stuff and I have to send her some pictures. Gotta do laundry as well. Just the whole regular stuff. I also got a letter saying that I had to renew my lease because I'm doing month to month, which is obviously more expensive than like what my lease was originally. Like, yeah. And then the renewal that they gave me was less than what I'm paying now. But then now my lease would be renewed at this one because they said that it's like mandatory to be on a lease term or whatever and i can't be like month to month anymore so the apartment searching begins i'm gonna actually the thing is like it's just my view i don't want to feel like a little parasite if i move to a different building and i am looking at someone else's window or like a, like a building wall or something i don't know like there's a reason why i didn't move to new york and that's why because <laughs> i didn't want to live like that yeah so let's go to the gym get some steps in 12 3 30 Go smash it. Hi guys, I just got back at Meat Blaster. I'm actually so upset because I was like halfway done with my workout and then my my big headphones like died. And yeah, that just sucked because I like went on for 20 more minutes, but it wasn't enjoyable. And I hate when that like that never happens to me. And I was too lazy to come back upstairs. I'm just prepping some turkey for Luna. Always have to put water in there for her so she drinks it. Sometimes I give her the turkey like three times a day. Sometimes it's only twice a day. I try to at least do twice a day. Some of the chips in there. There's no space for you up here. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm trying to tell her to not climb on the counters, but she always does it when we have guests. And they're like, oh my God, your cat's on the counter. Oh my god, she's walking over the stove. Like, what can I do? She won't get down. For my breakfast, I'm gonna have some soup. This is just like a chicken soup. just chicken vegetable soup it's so good hi guys good morning i went to the gym and everything and did all that good stuff and now i'm doing my makeup because i have to go to the jewelry district to go help out my mom she wants to buy a few pieces so i'm gonna go look and see what i think would be nice for her but it's hard because everything looks different on everyone else's wrist so it's not like it's gonna look the same um, I think I told you guys earlier that I do have a meeting later at 3 and I'm supposed to do a lunch but I think I'm going to cancel the lunch because I'm not really in the mood to eat right now. It might be later but just like, I don't know. Um, I just like flipped my hair out but it's already falling which is so annoying. What was I going to do? So I wanted to give you guys an update on the lashes. I do really like them. I find that I usually... Throughout the week, I'll probably go in like once or twice to add or remove one and so like I don't know how many of my batteries are dead But I think I have to charge them today Like every so often I'll go in and remove one or add one like it doesn't takes like two seconds for me to do So I really don't mind it and I still really like the way that they look This is like a little chunk that fell out today like from the center here So I'll just have to put it back on like it's super easy I still really enjoy that I don't have that phase where like it's oh I just remembered I was supposed to FaceTime one of my friends last night I went to bed like at 10 so and I think she called like at 10 30 so I'm just doing my makeup I got it I think I told you guys I gotta notice that I have to either sign a lease or um give a 30-day notice I think I have a few months though so I'm not really sure what to do but I'm really gonna have to like hone it down <laughs> like 
I just, I don't know. I think it's just the view that I'm like, that I'm going to be sad about if I move. I probably will move to like either a bigger space or a cheaper space. Like, those are the only two options. I just realized I didn't put any... Why did I do that? Even if I didn't put any on, it's not like I would be able to... Jesus Christ. Okay, anyway, I forgot to put on primer, but I'm going to spritz my face. And then I've been using this Chanel foundation. And I do really like it. I think it applies really nicely to the skin. My skin's way more dry these days, which it's always dry year round, but sometimes my T-zone will get a little oily in the summertime. And I did not go out today, which is amazing. Some days are just really chaotic and I hate those days. <laughs> um, I just use the Merit Bronzing Stick and I think I want to do my jewelry collection. I kind of want to show you guys just my pieces that I have right now. I wanted to wait until I got a few more that um i was eyeing but i quickly realized that i am just not i need to stop spending money and i purchased quite a handful of pieces in a short amount of time which is okay because ultimately i just wanted like a stack that i would love but i think now i'm kind of like happy with what i have and i think i should just do a jewelry like collection well just like on all of my 14k pieces and like 18 um, um, um why does this eye look so wonky that should be better i'm just doing my everyday makeup this is the rose ink blush i love this blush so much really nice and rosy can believe my meeting is so far today um this week i just have to like grind 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 i'm gonna be working until christmas pretty much and i'm not like excited about it but I'm not like mad at it. I kind of feel like whatever. Work is work. Okay, so just filled in the gap. Just setting my face. And I like to go in with the Laura Mercier powder just to set it even more. Basic, basic routine. But I wanted to tell you guys something because I feel like <clears throat> if you guys are thinking about like being on social media and stuff, like sure, it's great. It's fun. Like it's really exciting to um connect with so many different people but i think one of the downsides it's like i can't really share a lot of my excitement when things happen for me or to me like i'll share things here and there but I'm, it's really vague or i just don't feel comfortable being 100 percent like transparent anymore and i think a lot of it has to do with like the breakup that i had um in december of like 2020 because i was so like there was so much like outside influence and like people who hated me like online would message my ex and be like jenny said this jenny said that this is what happened blah 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 so it made him like feel a different way which i think was really bad because i feel like it could have been an amicable like breakup which i think overall it was because we still talked after that and like even this year just a little bit but i just think that i just think that it was really hard like in the moment because there was so much like animosity and like so much anger on both sides that like i was getting frustrated because the truth like wasn't being told and like there were just lies being fed to him so there were just like everything just kept building up and i couldn't really clear my name so that was really frustrating but i definitely have learned from that and i think it was a great experience like i still have so much love for him as a person not necessarily like i'm in love with him because i'm not but i think we shared so much of our lives together that i feel like we were each other's like longest relationship so that also was like super hard but i think at the end of the day like i finally like i mean i've been feeling okay obviously but i think that you know like when things happen for me or when i want to share something like i always have to second guess it because i don't know if like it's going to come back and bite me or like if people are going to I don't know just like say stuff like and i know that that's like the nature of social media like people are always going to talk about you you're always going to be relevant to them which is great in a marketing sense but i definitely feel like sometimes i just want to keep things to myself and now i'm really like i get super anxious like when i talk to people or when someone wants to be my friend not that like you know people know that i even have social media like I've met people like on Bumble BFF and like I don't tell them that I do like social media because I follow them on my private account I don't know I'm just like really scared to make friends like ever since that experience and I feel like I shouldn't be like I shouldn't be afraid to like open up and like be vulnerable to people that I want in my life long term 
if I feel like they're a really great friend but it's hard because it's like there were some things that were said about like my family and things like that and I feel like that's such like a vulnerable part of like my life obviously I think anybody's family is like triggering to them not in a bad way but like you obviously get triggered if like someone talks shit about your family and stuff like I just want it to be more like I don't know not like mysterious or whatever but like mm, I just wanted to keep a lot of things to myself and I feel like it wasn't like who I am like that's not who I am I'm very transparent with you guys as you know I think it's hard and that's why there's like less videos there's like less I want to share and it sucks because um I think people came to my channel as like a safe place where they felt like really excited to hear about my experiences and like it was so fun to hear all the things that I was going through but at a certain point it kind of gets to like when is too much too much yeah I just feel like that relationship completely changed my life and in a good and bad way because at the end of the day it's like there are a lot of things that I can't do after it and then there are a lot of things that I feel like I can do after it like in terms of like dating and like actually having a life and being able to experience the dating scene that it is today which is very traumatizing but it's okay i think like in a sense it definitely got me ready for the real world because i developed like a sense of humor and i think like it's really fun and cool but i also feel like a part of me just like wasn't ready to like take on what life had to offer like yeah i just thought about that because i thought like wow it's vlogmas i would love to vlog every single day and like you know share things and just like do everything like in the moment but then i realized like i just can't and it's not that i think like i'm not like oh my god i'm like this big celebrity obviously i'm not even a celebrity uh yes i think we're gonna do are we gonna do the marinated one mm -hmm. and then the ribeye or uh, what was it? i think it was one and two yeah can we get number one and two one and two okay We didn't get this last time. The daikon. Hi guys. So we came to parks. Um, I'm with my friend April. Do you want to be in the vlog? Okay, tomorrow. So we came to parks. And we got I think yeah. But we're missing we're missing one that we really like, so I don't know where it is. Yeah, but like Lucky yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I know we did. But neither of us ate. Like we, we always do that.